Ong Zuhri ya, Mengapa saya ambil manual So those kawan-kawan yang uh, Boleh uh, Access kita punya Kelas tetapi dia ada masalah Mic ataupun masalah Komputer ha? So saya boleh record cara manual untuk bantu dia uh, Transfer ke QR Kod uh, ha? QR attendance So the why, why Mengapa saya ambil dua Attendance ha? So kadang-kadang kawan-kawan kita line tidak konsisten. So uh, so saya guna manual untuk record dia punya kehadiran. Okay now uh, satu lagi permintaan saya. Kita akan uh, develop group. Okay, kita akan develop group. Uh, satu group ada uh, 10 orang. Sebab kita punya group B ni kita ada lebih kurang 50 orang student. So kita nak ambil 5 group sahaja. So 5 group akan ada 10 orang. Okay. So how you choose member ni terpulang pada you. Uh, sekarang ni uh, cuma saya nak lantik uh, group leader dulu boleh. So nanti bila kita lantik group leader. Uh, kita tahu siapa group leader dan uh, member-member yang uh, uh, tu boleh masuk ke group leader yang mana dia suka tetapi tidak lebih pada 10 orang contohnya saya lantik uh, uh, lantik Chong Chisang okay. saya lantik Chong Chisang sebagai leader contoh eh, bukan actual uh, ramai orang suka dia Ramai orang suka Chong Hampir 40 orang student masuk dekat dia punya group Tidak boleh eh? Chong cuma boleh pilih Hanya 10 orang saja. Bila orang ke-11 datang You kena tolak You bagi group lain yang pula eh? Mungkin dia masuk group uh, City North Asia dan sebagainya lah Contoh eh? okay. uh, Soalan daripada Nur Huda Sama ada lelaki atau perempuan Uh, dan juga macam-macam tu terpulang so kalau saya, saya lebih prefer kita bercampur lah, sebab bila kita bercampur kita akan do communication yang di mana di, di dunia luar sekarang ni eh, kalau you bekerja dekat industri kita ada pelbagai uh, jantina so juga kita ada pelbagai bangsa so saya tak galakkan kamu cuma satu-satu ni saja eh you kena bercampur semua dan kita kena develop. Okay, now uh, saya nak pilih leader dulu. Saya nak pilih selam, sebanyak lima orang saja. Okay. Siapa yang uh, berminat untuk jadi leader, uh, tolong bagi tahu. Kita pilih lima. Nanti kalau uh, tak ada, saya akan pilih. Okay, uh, siapa yang berminat boleh tulis dekat cat tu. At least lima orang saja, eh. jangan lebih. Okay, boleh tulis sekarang. Adakah? Okey, kita dapat satu seorang uh, Nurul Huda Hanani. Nurul Huda. Okey, Nurul Huda uh, metric number. 278648 Ok So kita dah ada seorang Siapa lagi? Lagi empat orang Ok Ini kata Ong Yuhui mau jadi leader eh? 
Ong Yu Hui. Ah. Mau jadi leader eh? Tak 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 tak. Oh tak mau jadi leader. Hmm. Cuma enten uh, kehadiran saja welcome. Li Ying Zing ada? Li Ying Zing. Li Ying, sorry. Okay, lagi empat orang leader. Siapa yang uh, bersukarela? Uh, Kalau tak ada sukarela, nanti saya pilih. Nurul Ain boleh jadi leader? Nurul Ain? Ya. Boleh jadi leader? Uh, tak boleh. <laughs> tak boleh, ha? Uh, saya nak masuk dengan Nurul Huda. Okey. Dan okay. kita tanya Nur Janah. Nur Janah boleh jadi leader? Ya, Doktor. Boleh jadi leader ke? Ah, leader. Ha, ketua kumpulan. Um, boleh lah. Okey. Uh, metrik 275491 kan? Ha, betul. Okey, good. So, kita pilih uh, Muhammad Arif boleh? Um, hmm. Boleh lah doktor Okay good So Another one is uh, uh, Lao Wenyi Lao Oh Lao boleh Lao sekarang Chang Yuzuan dia minta sebagai leader. Chang Yuzuan, you punya metrik number? K27930522 1234 So, lagi seorang. Boleh nanti uh, Uni Zaratika Ya, yes, sir. Boleh jadi leader? Group leader? Ah, uh, Boleh lah. Okay. Eh. So, kita sekarang dah ada 1, 2, 3, 4, Okay, kita dah ada group leader. 5 orang. First is Nur Jannah. Second one, Muhammad Arif. Third one, Nurul Huda Hanani. Fourth one, Yuni Zaratika. The last one, Chang Yu Zuan. Okay, kita ada lima leader. So, nanti lima leader ni, tolong uh, communicate, uh, you bagi you punya email number ataupun telefon number dan sebagainya supaya member-member yang lain uh, akan masuk you punya group. Boleh? Boleh, sir. Okey, selepas tu, uh, group leader uh, nanti akan communicate dengan saya, akan bagi list of uh, member. List of member ni, the content of dia punya metric number, the name, telephone number and email number. So you kena adakan empat item ni eh. Name, metric, uh, telephone number and email number. So yang ni you akan buat satu list. The, uh, leader akan buat satu list. Uh, akan dekat bagi dekat saya. Okay. Selepas uh, kita settle semua ni baru saya, saya explain uh, uh, tugasan untuk group assignment.
Okay. Any question? Lim Yi Ying sudah datang belum? Sudah masuk belum? Satu lagi Siti Nurul Fasihah. Ada tak? Okey, uh, lepas tu uh, Mak Nasyurin tanya kena add dalam grup WhatsApp ke? Uh, grup WhatsApp ni saya rasa untuk kongsi, okey boleh, kita boleh share. Maksudnya nanti leader dia masukkan grup WhatsApp untuk bagi tahu dia punya members. Eh. Okey, dos yang tak ada uh, siapa lagi apa ni, dia akan uh, join dia punya grup mana-mana. Tapi limited kepada 10 orang eh. Uh, kalau you ada 12 tak boleh kalau you ada 8 orang pun tak boleh eh? sebab kita punya group ada 50 at least satu kumpulan 10 orang ok any question so nanti kita ada assignment uh, group assignment just now kita talk about group assignment another one is individual assignment so individual assignment ni tak tak perlu develop apalah sebab uh, individu sama ni dia akan buat by individu ok uh, kita uh, saya nak sambung lecture of uh, sampling method and central limit theorem ok lastly what kita belajar sedikit dalam uh, minggu lepas last session So kita akan learn about the uh, Y sample. Okay, kita boleh tanya Yohanis Imani. Hello Yohanis. Yohanis, boleh dengar suara saya? Yohanis tak boleh respon dan kita tanya Nur Fadilah Nur Fadilah okay, Nur Fadilah ada? Yes, sir Ok, Nur Fadilah uh, Last slide last topic kita belajar why we choose sample instead of population boleh bagi some reason why we choose sample uh, time consuming ok lagi ok lagi ok impossibility Okay, lagi Disruptive nature Last one Sample result are in the grid Okay, good Thank you eh? Terima kasih So now we go for probability sampling So kita minta Lian Wei Li Okay, boleh baca probability sampling Uh, boleh, boleh. Probability sample uh, is a sample selected such that each item or person in the population being study has a known like a likelihood of being included in the sample. Okay, thank you, Lian. So, kita belajar sampling, they have two. One is probability sampling. Another one is none probability sampling ok tetapi dalam kita punya topik kita banyak belajar pada probability sampling so they mean how kita select the sample so we choose a sample they mean sample whether each item or person or respondent in the population 
of the study ya eh. the mean population yang kita study dia ada banyak population population yang kita tak study tu tak perlu ah eh. so kita study population that the likelihood be include in our sample so likelihood to be include to our sample of the population kita ambil sample sama ada item our person ataupun respondent so this one they call probability sample then uh, so they have four type of probability sampling so kita minta Cheng Mei Ying Hello Cheng Hai ini saya Tepa Morning, boleh baca semua ni Cheng oh, Okay Most commonly use probability sampling method simply random sample systematic random sample stratified random sampler and cluster sampling Okay, thank you Cheng Thank you Papa Okay, now we have four types of sampling The most popular is sample random sample systematic random sample stratified random sample and cluster sampling how definition of sample random sample so boleh minta Muhammad Nur Ikram Muhammad Nur Ikram ada ya yes, sir boleh baca slide ni slide number 6 Simple random sample Simple random sample A sample selected so that each item or person in the population has the same chance of being included Example The population consists of 8.5 employees of Nitra Industries A sample of 52 employees is to be selected The name of each employee is written on a small slip of paper Was it all of the slip in a box after they have been remixed the first selection is made by drawing a slip out of the box without looking okay. at it this process it until the sample of two employees okay terima kasih uh, mama ikram okay now how sample random sample is doing eh? they mean Uh, in definition, they call a sample. I mean, the sample we selected of the item or person or respondent in the population, they have the same chance. Macam, man, macam mana dimasukkan same chance? They mean, uh, uh, dalam contoh mitra industri, eh, kita ada 845 employees. So kita akan pilih 52 employee saja. So kita akan tulis nama 845 employee ni dalam satu kotak. Okay, kita kita tulis nama dan kita gulung eh. Masukkan dalam kotak, lepas tu kita gaul dan kita akan ambil satu. Tanpa melihat uh, dalam tu eh. So nanti kita akan buka, okay this one is first respondent. Lepas tu kita lakukan proses yang sama sampai 52 kali ya. So kita pilih itu secara random. So this proses dia panggil sample random sample. Okay, sample random sample ni juga boleh dilakukan dengan uh, sample, table random numbers. Ha? Table random numbers ni bermaksudnya bila kita Uh, ada buku statistik dekat last kali tu dia akan provide dekat you table okay, table random numbers so table dia buku ramai macam ni lah betul dia macam ni so kita akan pilih uh, contohnya dia beri contoh sini eh. starting point dekat sini first employee 037 second employee 447 third employee 784 dekat sini dia tak buat ha, mengapa why cuisine dia tanya cuisine uh, 
because uh, more than 845. Okay, good, good. Okay, good, very good. Okay, thank you. Then the fourth one, 189. Then we can select the fifth one, 039, 173, and so on lah. Until we get 52 employees. Okay, this one based on table. Then another one through Excel, eh? using through Excel. Okay, here is Excel. Okay. Excel, how they do it? Uh, like this. Eh? Excel. Okay, this one how uh, we do Excel for random. Eh? First, we write the formula. Okay, formula. R A N D. Okay, this one the call formula. Enter. So we get this number. Okay, this number we choose only three digit. Let's say we want to choose until twenty five percent. Okay, they came out here. The first respondent three six eight. Second respondent 494, third respondent 145, uh, fourth respondent 735, and so on until 25 respondent. Okay. Boleh, eh? So we have a choice whether sample and the sample, kita nak guna, uh, nak guna dia punya cara lama, maksudnya kita masukkan dalam kotak, kita pilih. Ataupun kita nak gunakan table yang provide dalam buku Ataupun kita nak lakukan dekat uh, Excel lah Excel ni kita guna formula lah So each kali you type dia akan keluar different number lah So this one they call sample and sample See here We do second time Dia akan keluar 538 apa? 534, uh, 546, 179, and so on. This one they call a random number. Okay. Uh, now we go for another method is systematic random sampling. Ini systematic and sampling. Uh, kita minta Nurul Huda Nani. Ya, Doktor. Okey, tolong baca semua ni. Systematic random sampling. The items or individuals of the population are arranged in some order. A random starting point is selected and then every... Case K. Every K, K number. Every K member of the population is selected for the example. A population consists of 845 employees of Nitra Industries. A sample of 50, 52 employees is to be selected from the population. First, K is Calculate as the population size divided by the sample size for Nitra Industries. We do select every six teams at 345 divided by 52 employee list. If K is not a whole number, then round down. Random sampling is used in the selection of the first name. Then select every six name of the list day after. Okay, thank you uh, Nurul. Nurul Huda. Welcome sir. Okay, now second method they call systematic random sampling. They mean systematic random sampling, they mean we take the item or individual of the population based on K number. Okay. What is K number? Now they give the example, 845 is uh, employees from Mitra industry. We want to choose only 52. 
In first step, what we do, 845 divided by 52, we get 16. Betul tak? Cuba siapa ada calculator? Guru ada calculator? Guru Huda ada calculator? Ada, Doktor. Cuba ambil 845. Okay. Bahagi dengan 52. 16.25 ah, Okay 16.25 kita run up Jadi 16 Okay bermaksudnya Every 16 Kita kena ambil sebagai responden kita Okay bermaksudnya Employee number 1, 1. Lepas tu employee number 16 Lepas tu employee number 32 Dan so on Jarak 16 Orang responden kita ambil sebagai kita punya sampel. Itu dinamakan case. K number. K number that mean every number lah. That mean kita select every 16 of the name in the list. Okay, kita ada 845 employee. So selang 16 kita akan pilih seorang. Okay, nombor satu Contohnya kita tengok slide nama ni eh Ok yang pertama kita pilih Ini contoh eh Selepas 16 uh, 16 employee kita pilih Nombor dua Selepas 16 Kita pilih Nombor tiga Selepas 16 Nombor empat So selepas 16 Nombor lima So on Sampai 52 Responden Itu dipanggil Systematic Sampling Okay, any question? Ada soalan? So far, siapa ada soalan? Sir, nak tanya? Okay. Memang uh, kalau nak ambil sampel tu kena jarak dia uh, mesti ada dua eh. Jarak. Uh, dia dia maknanya balance lah. Bukan, bukan. Dia jarak dia 16. Ini contoh contoh dalam slide saja. Uh, kalau uh. ikut contoh dekat sini adalah 16. Mm, maknanya uh, kat tengah-tengah tu mesti ada 16 lah maksudnya jarak yes. dia. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, 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 faham. Okay, bermaksudnya tetiap orang tu Okay, count nombor 1 uh, Sampai ke 16 Orang nombor 2 Count lagi sampai ke 16 Nombor 3 Count lagi 16 Sampai nombor 4 and so on Because kita decide K equal to 16 K equal to 16 Boleh? Mama Aiman boleh? Ah, boleh Doktor. Siapa lagi yang confuse? Dekat slide ni, uh, ini adalah slide contoh eh. So, cuba kita lihat, oh, kita padam tengok. Kita padam. Ini kita ambil uh, contoh bila kita punya K equal to 2 lah. Okay. K equal to 2 that mean selang dua orang kita ambil sini kita punya respondent yang pertama selang dua orang because K equal to 2 respondent number 2 selang dua orang respondent number 3 Selang dua orang responden nombor empat. Selang dua orang nombor lima. Selang dua orang lagi responden nombor enam and so on lah. Okay. Because K equal to K. So dia bergantung pada value of K. Tadi uh, first slide tadi dia menunjukkan K equal to 16. Okay. K, K equal to 16. Slide ini K equal to 2. 
So dia why dia pilih selanda orang responder. Selanda orang kita punya responder. Okay, ada soalan? Cuma saya nak verify lagi sekali Siti Nurul Fasihah ada? Oh, selamat, selamat datang eh. The line tak okay. Okay. Uh, Lim Yi Ying. Lim ada? Okay. Now I move on to uh, another topic, uh, stratified random sampling. Okay, stratified random sampling. Uh, cuba kita minta tadi. Okay, kita minta Nur Fakira ada. Ada, ada doktor. Boleh baca slide ni? Boleh, boleh. Uh, stratified random sampling. Uh, sta a stratified random sampling, a population is first divided into subgroups called strata and a sample is selected from each stratum. <coughs> a population can be clearly divided in groups based on some characteristics. Suppose we want to study the advertising expenditures for the 352 largest companies in the United States to determine whether firms with high returns on equity, a measure of profitability, spend more of each sales dollar on advertising than firms with a low return or deficit. To so make sure that the sample is a fair representation of the 352 companies, the companies are grouped on percent return on equity and a sample proportional to the relative size of the group is randomly selected. Total number to be selected is 50 companies. Okay, thank you, uh, Nafakira. Now, we learn what is stratified random sampling. That means stratified a population, eh? a population we divide into the group. Okay, we divide to the group. The one here, example, they divide to the group. The main group one, the profitability between 30% uh, and above. Group number two, 20 to 30%. Group number three, 10 to 20%. Group number four, zero to 10%. And group number five is deficit. Deficit ni bermaksudnya rugi ya, eh? minus one. So we divide to the group, we call strata. And the sample is selected. From this group, we select the sample. Here is sample. We collect a sample of each stratum. Then what condition certified random sampling is used? That mean is useful when population Okay, population and clearly divide into group based on some characteristic. Okay, so they have uh, some characteristic. They mean we decide here based on probability, a group of probability. Then we choose each group, how many samples. So this one they call stratified random sampling because we want to choose 50 sample in equally so we develop the relative frequency. Now boleh saya tanya Mai Sarah? <coughs> Mai Sarah ada? Ada. Okay Mai Sarah, macam mana kita dapat 0.02? Zero point zero two. How we get it? Yeah. 
Boleh Mas Sarah? Macam mana kita dapat? So 0.02 kita ambil daripada 8 bahagi dengan 30. Bukan, 352 Adakah kali tak? Cuba buat tu Dalam this topic you kena ada kali tak eh? Kalau you tak ada kali tak mungkin susah sikit Dapat? Dapat Okay, dapat berapa? 0.022 Okay, 0.022 you dapat So, how we get 1 kat sini? Daripada 8, 8 company, kita kena pilih satu saja. Macam mana kita nak dapat satu? Ya, 0.02 adakah kereta tak? 0.02 time 50. 0.02 Darab 50 Okey dapat You dapat berapa? Satu oh, Okey dapat satu Okey next cuba kita tengok ah uh, 0.10 Kita cuma ambil ini Hmm Zero point one zero times dengan fifty dapat berapa? Five. Okay kita dapat five. Nampak kat sini? Oh, five. And so on lah. So kita akan dapat total semua fifty. So daripada tiga ratus lima puluh dua company kita bahagi kepada group based on profit. Each company kita akan select this group one. Uh, 20 to 30% 5 and so on until 50 this type of sampling kita panggil certified random sampling cuba kita tengok uh, slide ni eh. uh, ini macam mana kita lakukan certified eh. bermaksudnya kita ada 4 uh, etik okay. 4 etik ini saya panggil mungkin ini uh, white people, orang putih ya, eh? white people. This one the black people. Okay, dalam white people kita pilih seorang. Dalam white people, uh, black people kita ada lima, cuma kita pilih seorang. Ini mungkin berada di Amerika Utara. Then di Amerika Selatan kita ada white people, kita pilih seorang. Dan kita ada empat orang, kita pilih dua orang. Ini dipanggil stratified sample. Boleh? <coughs> ada persoalan? <coughs> Saya nak tanya. Hmm. -mm. Kenapa yang tadi tu dia kena uh, darab dengan 50? Sebab kita nak ambil 50 company saja. Oh dia berdasarkan uh, company lah. Ah kita nak kita nak ambil banyak mana? Okay, kalau uh. kita nak ah kalau kita nak ambil 100 so kita akan buat pecahan based on 100 <coughs> quantity. Dalam this case, kita nak ambil 50 company saja Daripada 352 company. So, we have 352. Tapi kita nak ambil only 50 saja Boleh? Boleh, sir. Cuma saya nak tanya kamu balik. 50 ni apa ni? 50 adalah population ataupun sample? Yang yang 50 ni population ataupun sample? Uh, sample. Ah uh, good. Ah uh, ni. So adalah sample lah. 
kita ambil sampel kita tak akan ambil operation okay, kita akan choose sampel mengapa kita pilih sampel tak ambil operation mengapa tak tahu saya uh, sebab dia duduk dekat slide ni eh Ha, mengapa cuba tolong baca semua ni? Why sample the population? Ha. To contact the whole population would be time consuming. Okay. The cost of studying all the items in a population may be prohibitive. Okay. The physical impossibility of checking all items in the population. The okay. The destructive nature of some tests, the, uh, the sample result are adequate. Ah, the, the why the reason mengapa kita pilih sample. Faham eh? Faham, faham. Ah. Thank you sir. Okay. Maybe you akan asking juga uh, mengapa kita tak ambil uh, Okay, mengapa kita tak ambil uh, 352 company? You nak ambil pun boleh, eh? no problem. Tetapi rugi ya eh? sebab kita belajar statistik menyatakan sample is enough. Mengapa we do for the uh, populations? Okay, the next slide is about the uh, cluster. Cluster sampling. So nak minta Nur Alia Azman. Boleh ke? Uh, cluster sampling, a uh, population is divided into cluster using naturally occurring uh, geographic or other boundaries. The cluster are randomly selected and the sample is collected. Uh, selecting from each cluster. Suppose you want to define uh, the view incident in a regain of state and protection policy cluster sampling can be used by subdividing the state into small unit if your country or regions select a random four regions then take sample of the president in each of these regions and interview them note that these nations are simple random sampling okay terima kasih Noah Leah Okay, cluster sampling, they mean they mean a population eh? a population we divide into cluster they mean we divide into cluster now, kalau you perasan tak, kita punya COVID-19 okay COVID-19 sekarang ni, kita identify through cluster eh? perasan tak so kita ada cluster daripada <coughs> UUM Baru ni kita ada kluster UM ada 11 orang student uh, kena COVID-19 eh. Itu dia panggil kluster. That mean the doesn't care you punya uh, location or what tetapi you divide into cluster. Okay, we divide into cluster based on usually geographic or boundaries lah. Kita dibahagikan dengan bentuk type of geography. Contohnya UUM duduk di kawasan utara. Uh, UTM University Technology Malaysia duduk di kawasan selatan. This one dia panggil cluster UTM. Then uh, UKM cluster dekat tengah ha, middle. So dia panggil cluster UKM. Okay. So this cluster we randomly selected and the sample collected from each cluster. That mean bila kita ada ada cluster contohnya cluster UUM so kita akan pilih kita punya respondan kita akan menggunakan teknik sample random sample ok sample random sample bermaksudnya kita uh, buguh list nama dalam kotak kemudian kita akan uh, select the name tetapi boundary dia adalah cluster Okay. 
Contohnya di sini saya bagi slide uh, ini kluster dia. Eh. Contohnya sini saya panggil kluster ini saya panggil kluster USM. Ini kluster UUM. Ini kluster UTM. Ini kluster apa-apa. Uh, kluster UTM. Contoh eh. Ini dinamakan kluster. Bermaksudnya kita cuma pilih UUM dan juga UTM sahaja sebagai kita punya uh, responden, sebagai kita punya kajian. So kita pakai uh, cluster sampling. Okey kah? Boleh faham? Boleh. So kita melihat uh, what is different stratified dengan cluster sebab stratified dengan cluster ni dia almost sama hampir sama tetapi berbeza stratified ya yeah. kita adalah identiti yang sama tetapi dipilih seorang saja group yang sama dipilih dua orang saja this one dia panggil stratified untuk kluster, kita ada kluster, kluster UUM, kluster USM or UTM. Tulisan saya tak cantik ya. Eh? So this one. Kita pilih this cluster UTM and this cluster UUM. So this one dia panggil cluster sample. This one, what different between stratified and cluster sample. Boleh any question? Analysis. Okay. Okay, the next is kita belajar topik baru. Ha. Tadi kita dah habis belajar about the sampling. Kita ada empat type of sampling. Sample random sample, systematic, cluster and stratified. Now kita belajar another new topic. They call sampling error. So kita boleh minta tadi siapa yang baca tadi? Nur Ali baca tadi kan? Ya yeah, betul saya. Uh, sekarang kita minta uh, Nurul Natasha. Boleh baca slide ni? Ah, kena baca, nak, nak try, nak tahu you punya uh, pahaman. Okay. Ah. Gapa dia ni? Dia sebut apa ni? Okay, last. Jelas yeah, sekali. Okay. Uh, Siapa-siapa biasa tengok simbol ni? Jadi Alia Natasha bagi X uh, dan sebagainya. Tanya Tan Shewe. Yes, Doktor. Uh, biasa dengar simbol ni? Biasa tengok simbol ni? 
Ah, okey okey. Ini dia panggil apa? Tahu. Ini dia panggil apa? Uh, tak tahu. Tak tahu ah. Ha? Ini dia panggil X bar ataupun dia panggil min eh. Di sini X bar. Ini bentuk U ni dia panggil mu. Mu ini adalah population par, uh, means. X bar ni adalah sample mean. S ni dia panggil standard division. S ya, standard division. And bentuk dia macam huruf 6 ni dia panggil sigma. Sigma ni adalah population standard division. S power by 2 ni dia panggil sample variance. Sigma power by 2 ni adalah population variance. P ini adalah proportion and pi eh. So kita akan belajar pi. What is pi eh? Pi bukan 3.14 okay. Ini sampling error. What is sampling error? So what is sampling error? Okay. What is sampling error? Sampling error is a different eh? Any different between sample statistic? So we have sample statistic and we have the population parameters. So the different between sample and population we call sampling error. Okay. Dalam statistik, sampling error ni mesti ada. Kita tak boleh kata sampling error zero lah. So dia mesti wujud. Okay. So this one, example of how we calculate, we use a symbol of mathematics in the sampling error. So kita tengok contoh, okay, dekat uh, rajah ni, you nampak rajah ni eh. So rajah ni, you see kita ada population, distribution. So population distribution, kita akan ada population mean. So this one population mean. So same time kita ada uh, sample distribution. Then kita akan ada sample mean. So this one uh, beza antara dua ni eh. So dia panggil sampling error. Boleh eh? Any question? Ada soalan? Okay, kita nak tanya Ain Nur Zuhaidah. Ya, yes, sir. Faham, eh? Faham. Okey. Ayah Nusul Haidah, hari ni sihat ke? Ha? Sihat ke? Aku orang sihat. Oh, kurang sihat. Dengar bunyi ayam di belakang tu memang belah ayam ke? Eh, tak, tak. Ayam jiran? Haa. Uh. Oh. Oh, okey. Ataupun memang buat kelas dekat reban ayam? Eh, tak. Oh tak, buat dalam rumah lah. Hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Aina Zuhaida. Okay, uh, yang lain ada soalan? Hai, uh, doktor. Okay. Uh, boleh jelaskan balik tak nama simbol-simbol tu? Ada yang saya terlepas. Oh, simbol ni sepatutnya you kena refer dekat buku lah. Kalau you tak faham tolong refer dekat buku just saya bagi roughly saja. Uh, X bar ni maksudnya mean eh. Mean of the sample. Uh, mi, ni sebut mu. Mu ni adalah population mean. S adalah standard division. Standard division of the 
population uh, mean eh bukan population mean dan yang ni adalah sigma population untuk uh, standard deviation s power by 2 is uh, variant eh sample variant uh, sigma power by 2 is population variant pi uh, p proportion and pi eh. so nanti kita akan belajar last topic kot uh, uh, probability Uh, two hypothesis kita saya, saya kita akan belajar proportion and the pi. Tetapi in detail you boleh refer dekat buku ah you tak boleh uh, harap dekat slide saja sebab kan kadang slide ni saya go uh, roughly saya go mungkin cara cepat cara explanation biasa ah. So detail you refer balik dekat buku ah. Boleh? Thank you doktor. Okay. Now we go for simple sampling distribution of the sample mean. So kita minta Nurul Ain dah baca ke Nurul Ain Abdul Manaf? Belum. Uh, tolong baca. Okay. Sampling distributions of the sample mean. The sampling distribution of the sample mean is a probability Ability distributions consisting of all possible sample means of given sample size selected from a population. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, the next topic kita learn about the sampling distribution of the sample mean. Okay. So, it mean how possible sample mean given in the sample size that we take from the population. So, kita nak melihat how many possible sample mean given in the sample size of the population. We want to see what the sample distribution, how distribute of the our data. Here we see the example here. Okay, kita minta Nur Izati. Yeah. Oh, Nur Izati boleh baca slide number 21 ni? Boleh. Sampling distribution of the sample means. Example. Certain industries has several production employees consider the population. The, the hourly earnings of each employer are given in the in the table below. Employer Joe Sam Subwa hourly earnings seven seven eight eight. Employer Jen Jen R T hourly earnings seven eight nine. What is the population means? Uh, number two, what is the sampling distribution of the sample mean for sample of size two? Number three, what is the mean of the sampling distribution? Number four, what observations can be made about the population and the sampling distribution? Okay, thank you, uh, Nurain. Boleh Nurain kita dap uh, dapat jawapan number satu. What is the population mean? Ya. Macam mana kita nak calculate population mean? Ah. Uh, jap, tak ingat. Tak ingat lah sir. Tak ingat lah. Eh? Tak. Tak ingat ke tak tahu? Tak ingat. Tapi tahu. tahu. <laughs> tapi tahu lah. Okay, ha, now. Lah. Okay, thank you lah. Now. We have the company, the name Tatis Industry. They have the seven production employees. We have the seven, eh? Joe, Sam, Sue, Bob, Jen, Art, and Ted. So, we have the seven orang. So, the seven orang, they are earning the punya uh, per hour, the punya gaji dia. Tujuh ringgit, tujuh ringgit, lapan ringgit dan sebagainya lah. So first, what is population mean? Number two, 
what is sampling distribution sample mean for sample size of two number three what the mean of sample distribution and last one observation population and the sample distribution so kita ada empat soalan based on uh, this data kita ada this data Okey, kalau kita stop dekat sini bolehkah? Kita akan sambung ada kelas this week. Boleh. Boleh ha? Saya nak confirm attendant lagi sekali Lim Yi Ying. Yi Ying boleh ya? Okey. Hari ni kita seorang saja yang tak datang yang lain okey. Siapa yang belum scan uh, QR code? Ta. Okey. Okey. Apa soalan? Siapa yang belum scan? Saya belum scan. Saya tu siapa? Siti Nurul Fasihah. Cuti Nurul Fasihah. Oh, boleh scan lah. Okay, saya share.